Woo! Chitty motherfucking Bobby 1130, Battle Raps Dusty Rhodes, just a common man living the American dream, and I got some motherfucking bionic elbows. Listen! Jack Boy Maine, shoe shoe of the year, century. Better not ever see him back on URL. That was despicable. Anyway, Pat Stay, well, Shotgun Shug versus Pat Stay. We had us a fight. A fight. They they were fighting. Um, not really. They were fighting lyrically. They were sparring lyrically. This was a crazy battle. Really, really dope back and forth. Um, it's very debatable either way. Off the first watch, I'm not going to do like super bars on these because it's the live recap and I don't want to give away too much. I'll go back, in, you know, tomorrow or Monday and do full recaps of the battle. But just from a first watch, I'm edging it Pat Stay 2 1, rounds 2 and 3. Um, Shug was one of the best Shugs I've seen in a long time. Shug came strapped with the book bag and the button up with the tie. He wasn't trying to do like the the bullying stuff at first, um, because he, you know, he was playing, he was, he, he came prepared for Pat. He did way better this against Pat than he did against Chef Trez. You could tell, you could tell he cared more. Pat Stay was Pat Stay, man. He was, he was hilarious. He had bars, performance. What he, they both came with what they always come with. You know what I mean? There wasn't any stumbles, any slip ups. Pat was freestyling rebuttaling. He even was making fun of Suge for not rebuttaling because Pat's wearing like a floral suit. And Suge rebuttaled, which was hilarious because he never does. Um, it was a really entertaining battle, man, from start to finish. I could see this being one of the battles of the night. I know we're early on in the night, depending on what we see. We've still got Av Arsenal. We've still got K-Shine Rum Nitty. We've still got Surf Geechee and Lux Verb. But... Off the first watch, man, I edge it to Pat Stay 2-1, but this could be a battle that that you could watch 100 times and 50 times you have one of them and 50 times you have the other one winning. It's very debatable because they both did what they were supposed to do. They they didn't slip up. They didn't give – neither one of them gave away a round. Neither one of them cut a round short. Um, Pat had some really cool lines uh, about – he had a really he had a hilarious line about you know dunking on Suge, and then he he faked like he was gonna dunk on him, and then he was like talking about you know, uh, put, he like used like a pump fake line because shotguns not about shotgun not being real or whatever, cool line, just a couple of Pat had more moments, more room shakers than Suge, but Suge had a lot of dope stuff man, you know he had a lot of a lot of white boy. Um, like Pat being racist kind of thing with like back in the day, you know, with Hollahan and um, he had a lot of uh, like name flips that were crazy. So overall, man, it was a really, really entertaining battle. I look forward to rewatching it and really breaking it down. I edge it to Pat Stay rounds two and three, but I could see it going either way. Um, but yeah, y'all be sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're going to be doing these right after each battle. Love, peace, motherfucking hair grease, baby. Woo.